Kimberly Todd here. Thanks for joining me today for this Advent devotional. It is the fourth Wednesday of Advent, and our theme this week is joy. So we light all four candles for all four weeks of Advent. We have we started with hope. We light the hope candle. Then peace we added in the second week. We light the peace candle. Third week is love. We light the love candle. And today we add the fourth candle for joy, for joy. We are so close to Christmas and this makes us joyful. The scripture for today is in Luke chapter one. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And I want to highlight this word found in the scripture. And then Henry Nouwen offers us these words. Perhaps you can find your way to prayer by carefully listening to the words the angels spoke to Zechariah, Mary, the shepherds, and the women at the tomb. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the one who wants to enter your most in intimate space and invite you to let go of what you are clinging to so anxiously. And we have this word find again. Um, Mary has found favor with God and uh, in these words from with open hands, his work with open hands, Henry Nouwen invites us to find our way to prayer. Um, and so we'll do that with a little bit of breath work today. And what I want to invite you to as we find our way to prayer is to um, turn this statement into a question. What are you clinging to so anxiously? What is God inviting you specifically today to let go of? And so we will center ourselves and settle. Notice where your body meets the earth, either your feet if you're sitting in a chair, your seat if you're sitting on the floor. I'm kneeling today, so for me it's my ankles, shins, and knees. And I notice first where my body makes contact with the earth. And I soften there, and that creates a root. And then from rooting down, we rise up, lengthening the spine, letting the head grow taller towards the ceiling, and letting the shoulders drop away from the ears. We create a lot of space in the torso. Let the breath come deep and even. And as you breathe, turn your attention to this question. What am I clinging to so anxiously today? And with each exhale, let it go. And we're not just letting it go into thin air to somewhere or some, something, and we're not leaving it undone. We're not neglecting it. We're releasing it, letting it go into the most capable of hands, into the most kind of hearts, into the most loving person there is, the person of Christ, letting it go, these anxieties, to God who cares for you. As you breathe, acknowledge what it is that makes you anxious today, and then let it go into God's hands. We continue our reflection from this space. There are several places in the scriptures where God tells someone, don't be afraid. In all of these occasions, God is about to do something amazing. But if that's the case, why does God have to tell us not to be afraid? If he's doing something amazing, what would be so scary? The truth is that we are often more comfortable keeping God at a safe distance from us. We want to be warmed by the fire of God's love. But we sometimes don't want to stand too close to the flames. 
So before God can work a miracle in our lives, he has to tell us not to fear. He has to invite us closer so that the grime of our sinfulness can be burned away. The fire is refining. And we can become more fully human and see more clearly. This Advent journey began with the angel's words to Mary, don't be afraid. Now it's our turn to move closer to Emmanuel, God with us. It's our turn. It's your turn. Move closer to Emmanuel, God with us. And we pray, Lord, dispel the fears that keep me from drawing closer to you. Draw me into your love and transform my life. Amen. Thanks for joining us for these Advent video Advent devotionals. This is the final one, but I invite you to continue over the next several days. We have a few more in and the word was God devotional booklet. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.